and thank you. Uh, you're tuning in. I'm Fallon Lee O'Brien, and you're watching Art at SCAT TV. And I happen to be this show's host. I imagine it'll change over time. But uh, with me on today's show is Nathaniel Philip G. Bogosian. He is uh, an artist, a digital photographer, yeah. and he was one of several students who uh, took, took part in the class. It was a six-week program. Yeah. In a six-week program, it was Heather Mack, who is the youth leader and organizer here, uh, and she and Nico worked together to bring this beautiful class together and all these kids together to put out this incredible body of work. Thank you for being on the show. Well, thank you. Yeah. So I guess let's just get right into what was it that first, you know, opened you up to this digital photography class? Who was it? Did your mom find it out? Found out about it? How did you find out? Well, um, I'd been kind of slightly working with SCAT TV a bit, or like dropping by, uh, and I knew Heather from like a past video class. Yes. And I saw her at a park one in the summer. She's like, man, I need some ideas for like this drop-in thing I want to do for after school for teenagers. I gave her a couple ideas, and then I found out like all the classes and stuff, so... Yeah. And that was it. And then it was all... Photography wow. seemed like one of the Perfect. ones that stood out to me. Did you, uh, did you uh, share with her your feelings on photography at that point when she was, um, saw you in the park? Had you inspired I mean, this class? It wasn't really one of the big topics I talked about. I may have mentioned it, but yeah. I had one on like a sketch comedy... Um, like sitcom class. Aha, this sounds like something that could be promising in the future. It is. Oh, it is? I like this confidence, great. And so, and before the class, how do you, you've, had you dove into photography? Do you have your own camera? I mean, I had, before this class, I had started getting a little more serious about photography, like using a real camera rather than like a smartphone camera yeah. and like getting getting like more quality shots and like really learning all the settings uh well that's where this class came in kind uh -huh. of it taught me a bit more of the settings sure sure and and now so you've seen a, a sure i'm sure you've seen the progression of your work how it went when you before you started to now and this is one of the pieces it's a beautiful uh, photograph looking up at a bunch of really lovely maple trees and and it's gorgeous the color and the contrast and all the little fractals this is beautiful where was this taken uh, Medford Fells Medford Fells this is beautiful is there something you find yourself taking uh, you know, being more attracted to with photography? Is it nature? Is it industry? Is it people? It's really like I see something interesting or I see something that looks good that like if there's like some buildings or something in like a city. I like taking urban photography. I like taking nature photography. I mean, I'm kind of getting into like the whole animal photography yeah. thing. That's something I want to do. And like, if if I see like if I'm scrolling through like some pictures of like some pictures like I'm like I want to get something like that like of the long exposure of the cars going by and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And that's great. I know there's so many beautiful tricks you can do with just even taking a flashlight to paint something at night, so that you just have this one thing that's lit up. I, there's so much that I still have yet to learn about the world of digital photography. Um, what was, now this is something now you've been using for the class, the, the DSLRs, the Canon? I had a Nikon. You had a Nikon. Do you have, do you have any like um, advice to those that are wanting to get into photography between the two? Have you worked with both cameras? I mean, if you can find a good quality camera, and this goes for like all arts, like video making, all you need is a camera. It doesn't matter what kind. You can be a tech head and you can like all these cameras. You can pay as much as you want for a camera, but it's the idea that counts. And mm. like it's the artist, not 
the, the, the camera, camera is camera. just working for the artist. Yeah, that's beautiful. And no matter what, you're gonna make, you're gonna be able to get what you need as the artist out of that camera, right? That's great. That's great advice to those watching, to the children of the future that want to pick up a camera and and make videos or have fun with friends and you know. So I love this this idea. So taking photography and now moving it into more of a skit. So you say like you love comedy skits. Well, I like video making. Video making. And then I like photography on more my artsy side. Like. Ah, all right. Do you find, oh, so there's an I artsy always, side? Always, I've always been into like making comic strips, drawing, like, and photography has been pushed to that table. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Um, and your parents, everyone's so supportive, the family? Yeah, they're pretty supportive. Yeah, like, uh, that's great. And what did you learn most while you were taking this class, were you able to teach your mom or, and everyone a little bits and pieces here and there? I mean, they kind of knew that stuff because, yeah. like, they were growing up or, like, they were kind of, they saw how these cameras developed and stuff. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's great. What did you find most, um, let's see, what did you find most, um, effective with with the Heather Mack and with Nico with their training and their their teaching skills what was it that they really did so well that you felt uh, you know just so much more you know able to understand the camera well Nico he he just was able to he gave me a little more understanding with what I could do with the camera rather than just like I see something nice I take a photo um, and Heather like, she was telling me sometimes, like, oh, man, Nico's the one to ask, like, but she was kind of learning, too, with this photography stuff. Oh, that's and, But she, like, liked the photos that we saw. She was like, wow, that, she recommended, like, oh, this is a good spot for photos or, like, mm -hmm. but, like, when I've given her ideas about videos, she, like, helps me out with them and stuff a bit. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah, she knows a lot about that. She works constantly with uh, incredible videographers, and you know, setting up different frames and shots and scenes. It's really wild. There's a beautiful, beautiful team of people that are so so knowledgeable when in yeah. the field of video and photography and and animation and comedy. It's just yeah. there is like no shortage of great stuff happening here at Somerville Community Access Television. Um, and I'm sure your parents are so proud, and it's just so great. I mean, you, it was a small group of you, yes? Yeah, You're pretty like small. Pretty small, like seven five or people. five people. Including me. So hopefully that changes, because would you like to see a larger class with more kids to do in group? Did you do group activities? Um, or were you, did you participate? Well, I mean, photography, you can always get help, but like with more of the videography stuff, I like having a group. I don't always need a big group, but I just like having a nice group of people where I can make a video. While photography, you can get all the help you need, but you have to have the creativity and like, I don't know what, like something, no, like something to get here. the shot, like. Yeah, for sure. With, with to know like, oh, I could get it from this perspective, not just the regular straight on. Of course. Yeah, no, there's so many different angles and, and, and understanding when it comes to video. It's fun to have a, a number of different people with ideas like, hey, because video, you can really tell a story with like five or six shots of the same thing, you know, like from different angles. Like, oh, wow, it looks a whole lot different from this angle. Photos, it's similar. It's you can look at like one person's like face is like. You could see with photos too, it's like, you can see a picture and it can be like this wow picture and look at it and you're like, I wonder what happened before that, I wonder what happened after that, yeah. and I wonder what continues. Awesome, to go on, the story, the great story untold. Well, I'm really happy that you're doing this and that I was able to have you on the show. It's the first art at SCAT TV I've done, which is really special. And it's following a very special day in this, in this country of voting and uh, the, the 
the tone and uh, essence and sort of climate outside is different but in here it's beautiful all these kids are just like so happy to have done this this class and to see all the work there's going to be a big show here it's on november yep. 9th i think it's like tonight or tomorrow i the don't know but it's show? yeah right after it's right after Soon. this so we're gonna have there's gonna be people outside and like you know i think your parents or friends and family will come yep. and check it out and for a month the artwork is going to be up on the walls here at Somerville Community Access Television. So come by anytime, take a look. Uh, their work is really just, I'm so impressed. And I really look forward to seeing what happens in your career as a filmmaker and yep. as a photographer. So cool. Is there anything else you want to say to those watching at home or friends and family or anything? Uh, nothing really. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks for having me Thanks on. Thanks for show. having me on. To Thanks for being on, all of us. We're all on right now. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned. We've got more to come. Hello again. We're back. And uh, with me now is digital photographer Leah Acklin. Thank you so much for being on the show. And so in front of both of us is a piece of her work. And it's one of the photographs that she took in the six week. A program here at Somerville Community Access Television uh, that was run by uh, Heather Mack and Nico, um, two um, you know very active people here at Somerville uh, Community Access Television, and it was a really great program. And there were you know seven, were there five or six, seven children that took part in that? Um, I believe five. Five kids took part in that, and Leah was one of them. And, you know, I, was, I had Nate in the studio a little bit earlier, and he was really kind of just talking about what inspired him uh, as far as where did, how did you first learn about this uh, digital photography class? Well, um, my mother and my father know Heather from her father. So um, they're friends, and they know that Heather runs this program to you know they would just want to support her yeah and I liked photography already I like to look at it and I like to take photos and I just thought it would be a way to learn more about it that's great and so between the time when you started and now how do you feel like have you just learned just a, an incredible amount more yes yeah um, I learned how to use a professional camera and I think my photos have improved since when I first started. That's beautiful. Now, so before, what got you into photography in the first place? Was it something that you had a, a, your mom do or like a good friend of yours? Well, um, I always like to look at photography. I have a lot of photography in my room. And I thought, well, if I like to look at it, like, why not just create my own? But. Um, I had to have my friend help out some because she was also into photography and I just sort of, she helped me like, I really just took them on a iPhone at first. Um, but she helped me learn like how to use a smaller camera. Yeah, and it's so much fun, right? Mm -hmm. You can have such a blast with the zoom mm -hmm. and, the, and, and really getting close. This picture, for instance, I love that you took it with the, the perspective of getting really close to the bark of mm -hmm. the tree with the shadow of the person swinging mm -hmm. and that's really gorgeous to me because I love number one I love trees mm -hmm. and in this kind of bark it's so strong you know mm -hmm. it's so like almost looks like stone mm -hmm. in this photograph especially you really capture that where was this taken um at the middle um not middle uh Medford Fellsway the Medford Fellsway it's beautiful that's really great and is are you do you find yourself being inspired by uh, everything you know whether it's signage or portraits or animals or nature or or do you find like you you hone in on one specific genre well, if I'm out and about somewhere then I tend to be inspired by a lot of different things but I mainly like to take nature photography because it's just so beautiful mm, yeah and what do you do for fun when you're not taking photographs well, I like to read, and I like to spend time with my friends and family. That's great. And what are you uh, currently working on? Beside this body of work, which will actually be, uh, how many photographs are you all showcasing? 
Four or five, I believe five. Fabulous, and they'll be up for a month here at Somerville Community Access Television so people can buy and see this beautiful photography done by Leah Acklin. And are you, are you, do you have, after having taken this class and learned what you've learned, mm -hmm. what are you gonna do outside of this? Where are you gonna take all of this knowledge and go? I hope to, um, one of the jobs that I'm, um, that I want to take part in um, is photography. And I feel like since taking this class, if I hadn't taken this class, I don't think I would have enough knowledge to um, take a job in photography. So, and I also do f want to do photography just for fun. Yeah, it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then there's the whole world of photography and then editing and Photoshop mm -hmm. and all the fun stuff you can have. That's really great. I'm so happy to have met you. I'm so happy to have seen the work that you've all done together and to see everyone working so well together. You all, you know, just, it must be real special. And Heather and Nico seem like wonderful teachers. Yes. Is there something that stood out in the six week, uh, something really funny that you remember that stood out? that you can share with the people at home watching? Well, a lot of times when we were out taking photos, um, we just had a lot of fun <laughs> and it was just a really great experience overall. I'm sure it was, and getting to know everyone, and just because mm -hmm. the age difference was a little different. You and Nate yes. are the, were the oldest, and then three other little boys. Yes. So to see that is dynamic of all mm -hmm. of you coming together and them looking up to you both as mm -hmm. teachers, it's so sweet. I just love it here. All right, well, thank you so much again, Leah. Thank you for being on the show, and thanks again for tuning in, folks at home, and uh, and come on by and see what what this group of young photographers have done here. It's pretty special. All right, that's it. Thanks for having me. Thank you.